Good evening, guys. Welcome, Life Apollos. Happy to have you here. As always, a lot has happened in the automotive and supercar community over the last 24 to 48 hours. Brand new cars, crazy builds. Uh, we're going to be covering all of your favorite creators tonight, per usual. But one of our main headline stories is kind of how car owners, especially if you happen to like modified exhaust owners, are getting screwed. And as a reminder, if you like being kept in the know of what's happening in the automotive and supercar community, make sure to sub to the channel and like the video it helps us out tremendously helps us get even more uh, great videos to you every single day and with that ladies and gentlemen beard nation welcome to your news of the day all right first up guys and uh, easily the most requested story of the day uh, it's crazy how many people sent this to me and uh, it makes me very angry internally so uh, Road and Track has the article. We're going to talk about exactly what it says. But New York is now using cameras with microphones attached to them to ticket loud cars. Um, own a loud car in New York City. You might receive a notice in the mail from a computer. Um, and I'll tell you guys, uh, we're going to get into it here in a second, why this is such a big deal and why I think it's going to be coming to a state near you, even if you don't live in New York. Um, so right now, guys, if you live in New York and drive a loud car, you could receive a notice from the city's Department of Environmental Protection because, of course, it's going to be that department. Uh, I'm all about, like, helping out the environment when we can, uh, but, you know, I'm not even going to get into it, but loud cars, probably not on the very top part of the list for damaging the environment. Um, telling you that your car is too loud, not because a police officer caught your noisy car, but because a computer did. Now, uh, an Instagram account known as Lowered Congress uh, put up a picture. I, I'm assuming uh, that it's either their ticket or someone that sent it into this particular Instagram page, um, showing the exact ticket. It was for a BMW M3. Luckily, they, they blocked out everything here in terms of the information. Uh, a meter that checks the sound of your car when you pass by, takes a picture of your car and plate, and sends the ticket directly to you. New York City is on a different level of crazy right now. Um, I was not aware that they were going to be instituting any sort of like computer microphone uh, like system to go after loud cars. Now, if you guys watched our videos, I wanna say it was a couple days ago, maybe like a week ago at this point, we talked about the new Sleep Act, uh, which is New York cracking down on loud cars. And that was where that crazy viral clip came from, uh, talking about how it's like, you know, used for fear and intimidation from that person who had no idea what they were talking about. Um, so a photo of the official order from the New York City DEP was published to Facebook by a page called Lower Congress, uh, directed at BMW M3. So we talked about that. Um, and the notice reads as follows, in case you guys are curious what this could look like if it eventually gets instituted where you are. I'm writing to you because your vehicle has been identified as having a muffler that is not in compliance with section 386 of the vehicle and traffic law, which prohibits excessive noise from motor vehicles. Your vehicle was recorded by a camera that takes a picture of the vehicle and license plate. In addition, a sound meter records a decibel level as the vehicle approaches and passes the camera. Um, I don't even know where to begin with how many issues I can probably see with using a decibel uh, system to try to find out how loud your car is. Uh, I would be very curious, if you happen to be the owner of this particular M3, do you have a modified exhaust in any way or is your car stock? Because what I think is going to happen, if this system continues forward, it's going to actually capture a lot of cars that have stock exhaust systems because it seems too loud. Think about how loud like Lamborghini Huracans are, Aventadors. So many other cars can be extraordinarily loud, even stock. There are so many problems with this. Um, the order goes on to tell the owner to bring their car to a location specified by the Department of Environmental Protection, a sewage treatment plant. <laughs> what? To be precise for inspection. Um, show up and you'll have the opportunity to get the car fixed to avoid the fine. I can't imagine a lot of people are gonna wanna do that. Uh, especially if they put work into their exhaust system, much like California's fix-it ticket system. Uh, if you do not show up for the summons, it's an $875 maximum fine. Uh, so a New York City DEP spokesman confirmed to Road and Track. Thank you, Road and Track, for being a fantastic publication. Uh, email the, the email system is part of a small pilot program that's been running since September of 2021. From the description above, it sounds like it's going to very much work like a speed camera that automatically records a violation and sends it to you in the mail by reading your license plate. Instead of a speed gun, this new system uses a strategically placed sound meter to record decibel levels on the road, matching it to a license plate using a camera. 
Um, and yeah, here we're talking about the sleep bill, guys. So the DEP tells us the new program is unrelated to the brand new uh, sleep bill raising fines for the exhaust noise violation in the state from 150 to 1,000, currently the highest in the nation. So this is in addition to the sleep bill. So if you're in New York and you have a, a fantastically uh, great sounding car, not only could you get some crazy bills uh, for noise violation, but you could also get it from the DEP separately is how I'm reading this. Uh, the program is going to get reevaluated on June 30th, and according to DEP, from there it'll be likely either be expanded, like we were talking about, or taken out of commission. I would imagine they're going to expand it uh, purely because when has the government ever said no to more revenue for whatever systems they want? So to summarize here, guys, uh, a lot of the issues that we have with this sort of decibel program are the same stuff that exists with like red light cameras and speeding cameras. Uh, once people know where these cameras are, uh, their driving behavior, and there's lots of studies to back this up, uh, end up causing a lot more accidents than the, the original technology is supposed to save. People are going to see a red light camera, they slam on their brakes, people pop into the back of them. Uh, I can see the exact same thing happening with the decibel system. Someone has a loud car, they don't want to face an $875 maximum fine for not a going up to the summons and then all of a sudden they're stopping or slowing down to an unreasonable level and that causes an accident. It has the exact opposite effect they're trying to institute. But by all means, if you think I'm wrong, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Uh, I can see this being a plague on the nation for car owners and people that have a modified exhaust, but feel free to let me know in the comments below and on to our next story. All right, moving on guys, a lot more news to cover. Stradman, brand new video out talking about the possibility of trading a supercar for a Porsche GT3 RS. Uh, still sort of thinking about it by the end of the video, uh, but lots of exclamation points on that. So it certainly seems like he wants to do it. Big video from Stradman. Savage Garage buying a super rare supercharged Mini Cooper, but why? Uh, they are killing it, by the way. Great content on Savage Garage lately. They just bought one of those brand new or sort of older school mini JDM trucks. Super fun stuff over there. One of the best intros I've seen in a long time. Link for that in the description below. Next up, guys, very interesting video from Sheepy Ray. Uh, Alex Choi lands a helicopter at Sheepy Race. This video got a ton of views. Obviously, with a title like that, Alex Choi actually dropping by, uh, it makes a lot of sense. Nice to see Alex Choi back in action. You know, he took a, sort of a big hiatus from doing any sort of online stuff uh, and sort of announced he was going to be gone for some period of time. And this was sort of his first appearance back. Although I don't remember exactly when this was shot. So it could have been like before that. But anyway, make sure to go check it out. Great video on Sheepy Race. Congratulations seem to be in store for Shmi again, guys. Brand new video out. I bought another V12 Ferrari new GTC4 Lusso Shmi Mobile. Uh, I mean, the, the Lusso is an incredible car. Um, I think that the, part of the reason why I like the FF so much is it has a lot of the same characteristics of the Lusso for a, a lot less money, but a Lusso is a, a killer car. Nice to get a V12 Ferrari back in the Shmi Mobile fleet. And uh, I love the color too. I'm kind of a sucker for that uh, entire palette scheme uh, within the Ferrari world. Make sure to go give him a big congratulations as well. Next up guys, I gotta recommend that you watch Graham Stephan's channel because he did a long, long interview. There's multiple videos about it now uh, with Doug DeMuro. It's called From Broke to Bugatti, Inside the Millionaire Empire of Doug DeMuro. Uh, one of the better interviews that I've seen in a long, long time concerning the automotive community. Graham Stephan got Stradman in at the end of 2020, I think it was, and now he has Doug DeMuro in in the start of 2022. Phenomenal video, talk about finance a little bit. He has some advice for Stradman. Very, very cool stuff. Make sure not to miss that one. Then we got Triple F Collection uh, leading the way with Insanity Car Purchases. This one a little bit different. It's called We Bought Our Own Drag Strip. I can only imagine the chaos that's going to take place uh, once they've had that for a couple of months. Holy cow. Considering their car fleet and what they're willing to do, uh, get ready for some fire content from Triple F Collection. And finally, guys, Washness Media, Sunset with Godzilla, uh, Finding Nick's R35 GTR, another masterpiece in the automotive cinematography world. And make sure not to miss it. Washness Media has long been one of my favorite channels. We talk about him whenever he puts up a video, a trend that I'm sure will continue in the future. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure to send me all of your tips on my Instagram account best place to reach me we got some fire content coming over the next couple days and a reminder for anyone out there that has haters make sure to ignore them the more you get hated on the more it just means you're doing a fantastic job uh what, what else can i say have a great day we'll catch you later great to be part of the automotive community see ya bye